Hey everybody, this is Helfinator, and what's up? I know you haven't heard from me in a long time, but let me fix this, fix that with this episode of Super Mario Land. Starting off with consistency, because the enemy blew up just like every other turtle from Super Mario Land. So, that's what I'd like to see. Especially after all this sea cow nonsense, what's up with this? Alright, so, let me begin with uh, an explanation of why I've been gone for so long. I know you guys have seen an episode, uh, last episode that I released to you guys was like, mm, about like, two weeks ago? But, what's this character? Oh, I can float! Woo, float! Float! Unfortunately, it's not like the bunny hood. I can't run for, like, for miles in two seconds. Uh, but, um, ooh, extra life. Alright, with all that good stuff going on, um, pretty much let me get into why I've been gone for so long, because really, to tell you the truth, the last time I actually did a... Oh, that's great, I died. The last time I actually did a uh, whole, like a, like some serious recording was like about like a month or so ago. So, I'm a little bit rusty on this, but... Uh, please bear with me as I explain to you my adventures of so far this summer. Um, which reminds me that, actually, according to my schedule that I set up, I told you guys that I'd release more videos over the summer, so technically since the first day of summer wasn't too long ago, I'm technically keeping that promise. So, with that technicality, um, let me begin. Uh, since this year was actually my last year of high school, um, of course I was graduating. So, uh, we have, uh, for my school, we have a, um, we have a baccalaureate, since I go, to, since I went to a, uh, oh, there we go, skipping across some guys. That's some skills right there. But since I went to a, uh, a private uh, Catholic high school. Uh, we have a uh, baccalaureate mass or baccalaureate service in the church. Um, that pretty much just talks about, and then we just reflect on um, our time as a class and like that and stuff like that. And I don't know why I just backtrack right there because that was completely useless. So. Um, Bef so, that morning, the day before our graduation, my friends and I went off to, uh, went for baccalaureate mass practice, and we stayed there for, like, about 30 minutes, and then, with all that was over, we decided to go to the, um, Chinese buffet that is in my town, let's name my town, Town A, and that's good that we started off with hitting that bell, goddamn piece of shit. Okay, so, so we went to this restaurant in my town, Town A, that borderlines, that is literally sitting on the border between Town A and Town B, which is the neighboring town. Well, my friends and I are there, and we're sitting there eating, and all of a sudden, and we, we get up to uh, pay for our food because we just finished eating. And all of a sudden, this woman on the other side of the restaurant slumps over and her face goes straight down into her food. And we hear someone start screaming, call 911, call 911. Um, so the Chinese guy who's checking us out says, oh, hold on guys. He starts dialing 911. He he's trying to tell the responders of 911. Um, what, what's happening, but since he he's, he doesn't have very good English, I guess you could say, he couldn't he couldn't really tell the responder what was going on. So what happened was that he's like, here, you must tell them what's going on. So he uh, so he hands it to one of my fr he hands the phone to one of my friends who's standing right next to me, and he starts talking to the responder, and he's like, uh, okay, um, this woman in this 
uh, in the restaurant on the other side of the restaurant. She's she's having a she's having a heart attack. Oh, oh my gosh, she's seizing! She's seizing! So as he's talking to her, yeah, this woman started having a seizure, and these people started were trying to help her out of her chair down on the floor to perform CPR. So, so he's he's telling the responder this, and the responder says, "Okay, okay. So, wh where where is this restaurant? What restaurant are you at?" And he tells him it's a restaurant called Happy Garden. And he says, "Oh, oh, you're you're in town B." And he he goes clunk. He hangs up on my friend. My friend's sitting there. He's like, "Oh my God! Now my one hung up on me." So we're all freaking out, and uh, because I mean, now one's supposed to stay on the line for you. That's it's the number that you have to call for if you need help. So they, that's like their job. They're supposed to stay on the line for you, with you. But whatever douche that we got didn't know how to perform his or her job. Why do I keep on dying? Jeez. Well, I'm trying to tell this story. Okay. So finally, after about five minutes. The first responders came, and uh, it was the responders from Town B. Um, so they 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 take over for performing CPR, and they take this heart monitor or whatever it was, and hooked it up to her, so you can hear it going goes beep 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 beep, of course, showing her heart rate and whatnot. And we're and my friends and I are sitting there, and of course we can't check out yet because everybody is all centered around this woman, as we should be, because of her plight. So we're oh, I didn't know I could get up here. So I guess I could jump over, right? No. Okay. So so the responder set her up to this heart monitor. And after a little bit, all of a sudden it was just dead silence. There were no beeps anymore. So my friends and I, uh, I was standing there with some of my friends, and we're like, "Oh my gosh, I think she just died." So we, so we said a prayer for her because we didn't know what else to do. And um, all of a sudden, you hear one of the responders say, "Quick, someone go get another battery. We ran out of power." So I mean, like, really, what? How does this happen? First responders, their battery dies while they're trying to save someone. How does this happen? So, yeah. So, the uh, first responder's battery died. One of the responders got up, ran out of the restaurant to go into his car to get another battery for that heart monitor. And after after like a good long while, he came back in, they put it back on her. And, of course, and... By the time they put it back on there, they were just, uh, she had no pulse, and they were trying to get it back, which they succeeded in doing after a little while. And then finally, after all that, finally the responders from my town, Town A, showed up. Er, well, no, no, let me correct that. Before they showed up, some responder from a town seven towns away from us showed up. And then Town A showed up. And then the responders from Town A showed up. But my point is... I mean, this is how my summer started. So, how the heck does this even happen? How does that even happen? Whatever, I... I guess I cannot fathom how weird or how... I don't even know what to call it. This is... Whatever, that's how my summer started. So then... Uh... So then, after that... All those shenanigans... Finally got that bell. After all those shenanigans... Um... Back Lariat Mass. A little bit about that. Back Lariat Mass was uh, very nice. And... I think I just downgraded myself. Yes, I did. That's great. Um, and no, I'm not going to face the boss. I'm going to do this B level. So, um, 
Oh, excuse me. I've had some allergies lately, so... I'm trying to get over that, so you might hear a cough or a wheeze here and there. But other than that... Um... Okay. So... That Garrett mask was really nice. Um... I mean, it was... It had... I guess it felt like it had a lot... Me it had a lot of meaning to it, because it was the last time that my whole class and I were together for a uh, church service, so it was really nice. And then I, and I will continue this conversation. I'll continue this in the next episode, so I'll see you guys later in this Healthinator. Signing off. See you guys.